Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. If you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button if you would like to see when I post new videos. My channel focuses primarily on recovery from narcissistic abuse, and I make videos about narcissistic abuse and CPTSD, and I offer one-to-one -one coaching for those of you who need support. Now, the focus of today's video is going to be on how it feels when a narcissistic mother passes away. What is it you experience when this happens? Is the grief process normal or is it complicated? Stay tuned to find out more. If you were raised by a narcissistic mother, you will know that this is a very, very complicated relationship where you are constantly disappointed where your needs aren't met, where you're parentified or used as an emotional crutch, where your mother's needs always come first. You may have not been nurtured by your mother. You may have not had normal attunement by your mother. You will have had a lot of anger, a lot of grief, a lot of repressed emotions, a lot of violation of boundaries and a lot of passive aggressiveness. A narcissistic mother, in most cases, is a covert narcissistic mother, and this is extremely painful for the child to not actually have the experience of having a healthy mother. Now, when a healthy mother dies, the grief process is normal. You've lost a mother that you loved deeply and who was a good mother to you, and you will go through the grief as any other person will that loses their mother. But when your mother was dysfunctional, was toxic, was narcissistic, the grief process is a lot more complicated. Some of the emotions that you'll experience when your narcissistic mother dies may actually surprise you. You'll most certainly feel relief, but you'll also feel intense grief, anger, and a feeling of not being sure what to feel. You may fluctuate between feeling numb one minute and extremely sad the next. The range of emotions you'll experience when you lose your narcissistic mother will be very confusing. You may actually feel two emotions at the same time, two emotions that are actually opposites. Just remember that this is a complicated grief process and whatever you feel, it is okay. When you have a narcissistic mother, she isn't able to listen to you and truly validate your experience. So you will never have been able to get through to your mother, to truly get through to your mother and get her to understand that her behaviours have hurt you. She may have never apologised to you or she may have played the victim card in moments where you did try and confront her and told you that you were a horrible daughter for even telling her such things. So these emotions have never been resolved. You have never been able to fully get your emotions validated by your mom. You have never been able to heal this part of you. So losing your mom, her actual death, is going to be so confusing for you because you are still left with these emotions. They don't just go away. Some survivors of emotional abuse from a narcissistic mother have even said at times, that they wished their mother would just get hit by a car and die because then the abuse would be over. When the abuse never ends and the narcissistic mother continues to abuse them into adulthood, there comes a time where the victim wants relief and relief sometimes only comes when the narcissistic mother dies. So this is a normal reaction that when your narcissistic mother dies, it is okay to feel a sense of relief. Although the relief will be long lasting, you will also feel a deep sense of sadness because after all, this person, this woman was your mother, whether she was narcissistic or not. You may be sad because you never got to truly experience what it is like to actually have a healthy mother. So you will feel a very deep sense of grief because you never experienced this. You may have already started your healing journey before your mother passed away. 
You may have grieved the fact that you didn't have a healthy mother in therapy. If you have already done this, then the grief process may be a lot easier. But if you haven't done this, the grief process may be a lot trickier. You will be sad because you never expressed the pain that she caused you because she never would acknowledge it. She would never admit to anything or actually apologize. You might feel a sense of compassion for your mother's tortured life because after all, she was also a victim of abuse to some degree. Sometimes history repeats itself and generational trauma is passed on to other generations, especially when the individual isn't able to make the unconscious conscious. So they continue to abuse, they continue to only deal with the trauma response that they have been left with. Don't forget, narcissistic individuals have the fight trauma response. So they think that they will get love and attention from others by manipulating, by controlling, by playing the victim, by gaslighting, by being very entitled. These are maladaptive behaviours, abusive behaviours that they've learned and they think are going to help them get their needs met. But they are actually very, very sad human beings. They have a very empty core self and they don't actually feel happy in themselves. They have a deep well inside of themselves that is miserable and that is why they treat other people so badly. It is not unusual to also feel intense anger after your narcissistic mother passes away because after all she did abuse you, she did leave you with emotional scars that you have to live with for the rest of your life. Her death doesn't change any of that and it won't give you the satisfaction it will even when she does die. The scars unfortunately don't go away. The pain and the neglect that you felt don't go away. The other thing you've got to remember is that you'll also feel pressure from the cultural norms you've been taught to expect when a parent dies. And because a lot of your feelings will be in conflict with those cultural norms, you may feel guilt. You may feel other emotions that are very uncomfortable. But do remember that it is a very unique personal journey. Grieving a narcissistic mother is a very, very personal journey and nothing you feel is wrong. None of your emotions are wrong. Another very frustrating part of losing your narcissistic mother is that the grief will hit you at very inappropriate times. Something may happen and it will trigger you into an intense grief attack. The crazy thing when you lose a narcissistic mother is that for some time when you are actually feeling relieved, you may be feeling okay, you may be going along and everything feels fine and you're dealing with it well, and then suddenly you will get hit by a wave of grief, of very strong emotions that will hit you out of nowhere and where you least expect them. And this is also normal. Many psychologists say that grief peaks at about two years after the death of a narcissistic parent and you will experience intense cycles of emotions over a long period of time. There may be another part of you that may be very angry with your mother because she actually died before you ever got a chance to tell her how you truly feel. But please remember that even if you did get a chance to tell your mother how you truly felt, she will not have told you what you wanted to hear. If she was truly narcissistic and had narcissistic personality disorder, she will not have been able to validate your experience in a caring and thoughtful way. She probably wouldn't have even apologised. So even though this is something that may be tormenting you now that your mother has died, um, especially if you didn't tell her these things, please rest assured that even if you had, this wouldn't have made a difference. If you would like to share your own experience of losing your narcissistic mother, then I would love to hear what you have to share in the comments below the video. Thank you very much for listening to today's video, even though it was a difficult one. If you have recently lost your mother, I wish you all the best. Take good care of yourself at this difficult time. Much love to you all. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.